Hello everyone, welcome to my videos on elementary differential equations. This is video 15 for chapter 6. The current topic is uh, systems of two linear differential equations. Okay, so in this video we will just go through a summary of stabilities and types of critical points for a 2 by 2 linear system. Okay. So we restrict ourselves to 2 by 2, and therefore A is a 2 by 2 matrix, and that's our system. And then we assume that A is invertible, that is the determinant of A is non-zero, and therefore the um, origin here is the only critical point, and we'll just discuss that critical point. We put a remark here that in a more general setting, we can have a system like this, where um, you have a constant vector b here. If that is the case, and then we will have a unique critical point at um, a inverse times b. That's not the origin. And this whole thing is just uh, a shifting in the x1, x2 plane from the origin to the new um, critical point. And the discussion of the critical point and its stability remains the same. Okay, so that is to say um, the shifting has no effect on the type and the stability of the critical point, and they are solely determined by the eigenvalues of A. Okay, so let's look at this big table here. So we'll have four columns in the table. The first column is the eigenvalues, lambda 1, lambda 2. And in particular, the type of it, real or complex. And the second column is uh, um, the properties of them. And then the third will be the type of the critical point. And then the last one will be the stability. So the first case is where lambda 1, lambda 2 are real, and uh, the product is negative. That means they're real, but they have opposite sign. This will give us a set of point, and then the set of point is unstable. So for unstable, I will write un to denote it. The second case is um, still real for the two eigenvalues mm, and then they are distinct but they are both bigger than zero okay and then the critical point is called a node and it's also called a source and then such a critical point is unstable because uh, all arrows are pointing away from the origin and the third one is lambda 1, lambda 2 is real, and they are distinct, and they're both negative. It's still called a critical point, and it's also called a sink, and then this one is uh, asymptotically stable, and we will use AS to denote that. And the next one is a real eigenvalue, but they are repeated, so lambda 1 equal lambda 2, and we can find two linearly independent um, eigenvector. This is called a proper node, and it's also called a star point. And the stability will be asymptotically stable if the eigenvalues are negative, and unstable if they are positive. The next one is also repeated eigenvalues, they are real and there one can find only one eigenvector. So this is called an improper node. And the stability is the same as the proper node. It's only determined by the sign of the eigenvalue, where a negative one gives you asymptotically stable, and positive one gives you unstable critical points. The next one is uh, a pure imaginary eigenvalues then the eigenvalues can be written as plus minus i times a beta, the imaginary point, and the type of the critical point is a center, and uh, a center is stable, but not asymptotically stable. 
And the last case is where you have a truly complex um, conjugate pair of eigenvalues, alpha plus minus i beta, and alpha is not zero. And then in this case, um, the critical points are called uh, spiral points. And the stability is solely determined by the sign of the real part alpha, where alpha negative gives us asymptotically stable, and uh, alpha positive gives us unstable spiral point. We make the final observation that as long as stability is concerned, from the discussion here, we see that the sole factor for real or um, complex number um, as eigenvalue, the sole factor is the sign of the real part of the eigenvalues. If any eigenvalue shall have a positive real part, then it is unstable. OK, so this concludes the chapter 6 and uh, next time we'll move to chapter 7 which is a short one where we'll have a, a discussion on 2x2 two two nonlinear systems. Okay, so um, that's all for this short video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.